What is this magic? I need that magic. <laughs> Everywhere you go is the main attraction. Your yarn shows a house to be a mansion. When you're on the road, this is a distraction. All the things you wear are the latest fashion. See your yarn so big when now you function. Hips to your waist is out of proportion. Trip down your back. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zara Beauty and I'm back for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out the infamous bald cap method of applying your lace frontals and I I know I'm late to the party like a couple hundred years later but I've been trying to do this because I don't want to mess up on camera the hair I'm going to be using for this tutorial is from Ali Annabelle hair they are an Aliexpress hair company and this is their Brazilian deep wavy texture in bundles 26 inches 24 inches 22 inches and frontal in 20 inches it doesn't get tangled it's really nice and it's quite long it's true to length if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this realistic looking hairline then keep on watching Okay guys, so we're gonna start with the wig already pre-plucked and made. So yes, I made this wig myself. I already have a video showing you guys how I make my wig. Very easy, very beginner friendly. I also customized the frontal. The frontal came really boxy, but it also came really curly as well, which I really liked. So we're gonna start with my bald head. Yo, my hair gets worse and worse by the day, but I think it's growing. So I'm just gonna moisturize and condition my hair. This is just so that when it's underneath the stocking cap it's not dry and frizzy and bad because at the end of the day we still want this natural hair to grow you know um once we do that we're gonna then take our brush and we're gonna brush the front of the hair all the way back this is just to make it easier for the stocking cap to lay flat and for the wig to lay flat as well i don't have any hair to make conroe so this is the most i can do then we're going to use our eco salad gel i chose the one with the argan oil because i want some extra nutrients girl and we're going to use that and apply that to the front of our hair this also to help the hair to lay very flat as flat as possible underneath our stocking cap all right so up next we're going to wear our stocking cap on our head now you don't really need a brand new one i used the most tired af stocking cap that i had in my drawer because really as long as the front is okay and doesn't have any rips and holes in it you're good to go the back can look anyhow you it wants to look like because it's not going to show anyways and the wig is going to cover it anyways so i also took one that was closest to my skin color i didn't use the blonde ones so we're going to go ahead with our got to be uh got what got to be glue gel and we're gonna put that on top of our hair now some people put the gossipy glue on their hair before they put on the stocking cap I already put on some gel on my hair because of the reasons I outlined earlier so I'm just gonna put the gossipy glue on top over the wig cap I'm um, stocking cap really it doesn't really matter where you put it to be honest the most important thing is that it bonds to your head to your scalp we just want to make sure you're putting it right on your scalp like right on your edges because it's the thinnest so you're then gonna use your hair dryer on the cool setting. Pick me, you hear me? Cool setting. You don't want to do on the hot setting or the one cool, as cool as possible. In fact, if you can use it in your mouth and blow it, please, because what heat does is that it activates you know, your oil glands and it breaks down the bonding power of the gel. So you do not want to use heat. Make sure it's on a cool setting. Now this can take anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. You have to wait till it's dried. Once the gel is dried, you're going to cut off the excess stocking cap as close to your hairline as possible. And you're also gonna use the got to be glue to glue down the edges together. Now after we're done securing the stocking cap to our edges, we're going to go in with a foundation powder that's a couple shades darker than our actual skin tone in order to darken the stocking cap so it closely resembles our scalp. Now don't go too dark with it because you want it to look like scalp. Now after that, we're going to put on our wig and try and cut the frontal to fit our newly designed stocking cap and to make it match with our actual hairline so I put it always on my head while cutting because I wanted to match my hairline as close as possible now it's time to put on our wig don't mind me I have something in my mouth with my nasty ass now you're gonna need your got to blue gel and you're gonna need a rat tail comb, preferably the metal one. And of course, you're gonna need your blow dryer. 
so we're gonna take this little by little and the rat tail comb is the best thing you can think about about for this method because it helps to secure like when you're pushing the frontal to the stocking cap it is very precise and it doesn't let like you're not using your fingers which kind of messes up with the integrity of the bonding glue so um i soon realized that it makes more sense to use your fingers to actually put the glue on top of your stocking cap and not the rat tail comb because you're going to be there forever but once you do that then you're going to use your rat tail comb the the rat tail part to press the frontal down to the stocking cap this is why the rat tail comb is the best because it gives you that firmness that you need and it, it's it's not your finger so there's no oils transferring and you can also kind of shape up your baby hairs from there as well this process usually takes anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes and this involves the application the installation of the wig and the dry time all right now it's time to curve out the baby ears them now you're gonna take out the the little tendrils around the perimeter of your head and if they're not already really plucked to perfection you're gonna pluck them again because baby hairs are meant to be thin say after me can everybody at the back here baby hairs are meant to be thin not fat they're not meant to be like the hair at the rest of your head they're meant to be thin and you're meant to be short please we don't want no TLC looking ass in this beach if it's not as plucked as you want please go in again with a tweezer and pluck it till it's thin because this is how it'll make your baby hairs look very realistic and not looking like you got thoughts in the middle ages okay all right so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our gel i use the claire got to be glue gel you don't want to use the white one in the front any clear gel you you have can do this really because this is just the baby hair part so you're just going to take that into your hairline not out you're not putting it around your face you're going to scrub it back all the way into your hairline that's what makes for a realistic looking baby hair okay i watched a lot of videos and i realized that the people that do it well are the ones that do not have the excess baby hair Now we're gonna use our little scarf thing that I got from the beauty supply store. I'm just gonna put that around our head to help us lay our edges. And this is really quick for anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And yep, that's it y'all. The wig is ready for the slay. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Okay, so bear in mind, this is two days after I did the initial install. But yes guys, two days later and it's still sturdy AF. And I'm just gonna go closer to the camera so you guys can see how my hairline is looking like. This is how my hairline looks like. Now don't mind the sides, it's coming out because it's been two days. But this is how my hairline looks like y'all it looks so realistic so beautiful i absolutely love it I'm gonna go into the pros and cons of this got to be glue method i wore this for two days so i can kind of see how it wears and how i feel about the whole entire process so first things first the pros okay this method is very amazing it's very realistic for someone like me that i shaved my hair off this is amazing you can't tell that it's not my hair except you like look in and zoom in and why are you zooming into my head anyways it's also in the technique of how you pluck your frontal obviously if you don't pluck it well it's not gonna look realistic simple if you guys want me to make a video on how I pluck my frontals to make them look this realistic let me know in the comment section below I just didn't want to add this to this video so it wasn't so long if you want to go on a vacation or something it's long lasting it's not like a wig that you take it on and take it off and the fear of it flying in the wind and blah blah blah. you don't have any fear of this flying in the wind this is sturdy AF they can drag your hair you can do all the rough games you wanna play with this hair but it's not coming off it is very very sturdy so you don't don't have to fear your wig flying away in the sunset it's also waterproof so I use the waterproof got to be glued okay so it's waterproof to an extent okay you can't go swimming and dunking your hair and acting like Baywatch on vacation okay maybe if you dunk your hair once or twice whatever but you can't go swimming like with this it is going to loosen okay it is not 100% water resistant it's not waterproof it's water resistant so it resists water to a specific amount and after that sis it gives up okay so it's not a hundred percent waterproof so don't play yourself okay but other than that it's literally 
like it's literally on your head. It's like getting a sew in. And if this is not a 360, what you can do is just put a wig clip at the back and just clip it to the back of your head and it looks natural AF. Oh my God, guys, I'm looking at my makeup and if you found it, I'm like, yes, baby, yes. Now for cons. I don't really think that putting so much gel on your hair is really good for your pores and for your edges, to be honest, because you have the gel from the ball cap and then the gel from the from the wig cap, so from the frontal. So that is a little bit too much gel and you, you I feel like it's gonna clog your pores because if you're putting on makeup, you're taking it out, some of the dirt is getting trapped underneath there and it can cause bacteria to grow and you know the rest of the, of the formation. So I feel like, Maybe three to four days a week max if you're absolutely tired and you have to go to work every day and you don't want to think about it. The weekend, take it off, clean it out, clean your edges, wash them, moisturize, condition them before you do this again. I don't recommend you doing this back to back. I'm not really sure what's going to happen to your edges, so be careful about that. Another thing is that it's flakes, okay? So it gets a little bit flaky, but you can combat that by using a dry oil or using styling mousse. As you can see, I had a lot of flakiness. Remember when I was making your hair? I had a lot of flakiness around my perimeter and all around there. But what I did is I just used some coconut oil, some dry oil, and I just went through it with my uh, with my hands, my fingers, and a little spoolie, and I just kind of put it around the flaky areas. And that's what I did, and the flakiness was gone. If the frontal doesn't look as realistic as you want, I just go in with a foundation um, powder, and I filled in those gaps between the hairline, just to make it look more realistic and to match with the rest of my skin tone. That was a huge step that made a huge difference. And it might look a little bit wettish, castish in the beginning, but as time goes on, it'll break down and sit in more with your oils and it'll look very very natural guys that's really it for cons uh that i can see really apart from that like it's amazing guys i love it it can get a little bit uncomfortable okay sometimes like i want to itch my hair so bad after this video this shit is going out i want to itch my hair so bad i'm not used to having a weave on so it can get a little bit itchy there but if you install it well i don't think it should itch you as much but if it gets itchy please take it out okay it might be something else that's wrong maybe too much build up or anything like that so that's really what i can say for this method other than that i love this method guys i've gotten nothing but good comments so i went out and i had people like oh my god how did you install that how did you do that and guys this is my first time i am so proud of myself um for you know making it look this good for it being my first time but anyway guys this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something make sure you subscribe to be part of notification gang and know when a new video is coming out and also make sure you follow me on my social media because like literally that is where it's lit and yeah guys i will see you in my next video Au revoir.